Good morning. Have you guys ever read this? It's a Vans Off the Wall Stories of Soul from Vans Originals. It includes uh, a lot of fun stuff like Aliwa Sea Spree event in 1968. This page left to right. Early event talent Randy and Gary Lopez as groms or groomers. How old's that kid? How old's that little girl? How old's this guy? Yeah. Heavy drop at La Mia. I became obsessed with seeing as many places as I could and trying to surf in as many that possibly had waves. Fast times at Ridgemont. Writer Cameron Crowe and director Amy Heckling created a teen comedy that captured the essence of Vans' Southern California-based off-the-wall attitude. Text by Shelby Stangen. Jackson Brown, Don Felder, Louis Go Goffin, Don Henley, Graham Nash, Oingo Boingo, Poco, Ra Ravian, Ravens or Ra Ravens, Billy Squire, John Walsh, Joe Walsh, sorry, um, Jimmy Buffett, The Go-Go's, Sammy Hagar, Jared McMahon, Gerard McMahon, I don't know, Stevie Nicks, Palmer Jost, Porter Flash, Timothy B. Schmidt, and Donna Summer. Music from the motion picture. You guys should watch that movie. Amy Heckerling, Fast Times Director. Two letter. Skaters, skater always rolling forward at 100 miles an hour. Then a skater rolling forward in a wheelchair, nursing a twisted spine, and now a skater using mind over matter. Riding through the city streets. Now I bike instead of my skateboard, but I'm always skateboarding. Thunder from vans. BMX. It's a long way from the dirty pools and ripped shoes, dog town to choreograph freestyle performances. In the 70s and 80s, Vans BMX program defined a new youth culture awareness. Everett Rose Crowns. Hey, Viola, Beetle Rose Crowns. Vans demo team in full effect, Glendale, California. It was easier for Vans to get accepted BMX because we were coming from skateboarding. People knew to skate. The skating mystique of Tony Alva and Jerry Valde, Valdez, and they brought power to uh, our BMX program. The kicking booty and blazing, it's easier with your bands. Chabra. And shoes. The Circle Jerks, Eminem, and Motorhead may not have much in common when it comes to their music, but they share a piece of Vans history as band shoe collaborators. Um, Motorhead, Slayer, Ignite, 98. Tony Ramon, Shady. 
Marker is the illusion. No doubt. Melancholin. Melancholin. Slayer, social distortion, AFI. Circle jerks. Bad religion. The germs. Rise again. Sting. Dropkick Murphys, Public Enemy, Kiss, Germs, I already said that, Iron Maiden, Bad Brains, Bad Families. Plans have always been a part of band's history. Today, the Gudadowskas, G-U-D-A-U-S-K-A-S, and Florence families, each with three sons surfing for bands, carry on the tradition while raising children in Hawaii can be very different than in California. Growing up in the action sport world is an experience all its own. Three boys. Clans, like they called it. The Florence family, North Shore, Oahu, left to right, Ivan, Alex, Nathan, and John John, above the Florence boys in the full pipe by the Oahu. Above the Godowski, the Dagowska boys on the Trestles Trail, St. Clement, left to right, Patrick, Tanner, and Dane. Fifteen year old John John Florence. Training the kids. Steve Caballero. On the 20th anniversary of Action Sports, first signature shoe, Caballero Skateboarding's Iron Man is reweighing the terms of longevity every time he drops in. Still creating in his fourth decade, Huntington Beach Soul Bowl 2008, Comey Bowl Pipeline Upland. Is a child. That's a child, but Vans works with anomaly. Oh no, is that converse? Hmm. I don't remember. Vans came back to me with the idea of a signature shoe. There were contract issues, so it almost never happened. But I went with it. I said, who knows? This might turn into something big. Clockwise from left, Comey Bowl, Pipeline, Upland, 1982, Skate City, Whittier, 1980, USA, SAR, Amateur Champions, Escondido, Summer of 79. Flames Brigade, a Powell Peralta skate ad in, 19, in 1979 named the Bones Brigade. The very first OG Bones Brigade was Stacy Ray Bones and Jay Smith from LA, Mike McGill, Alan Geffen, and Tim Scroggs from Florida, and Scott Foss and me from North Carolina skateboarding had died in the early 80s, and we were doing our own thing to keep it alive. We loved it. Greg Steck was the mastermind of ideas, art, and creativity. We collaborated with Stacy Peralta, who had an uh, with Stacy Peralta, who had an eye for skateboarding talent. Together, they led the brigade, which went on to become the most famous group of skaters in history. When it came to the search for Animal Chin, the skateboarding movie may many considered to be one of the best ever made. We were just goofing around and having fun. We had done two videos previously at as the Bones Brigade, but Stacy wanted to make a real movie with acting for this one. Of course, I was too shy to act. It's not like I was trying to impress anybody or stand out. I just wanted to skate and have fun. We were just trying to push each other and be better than the next person. I was about camaraderie and having a good time wherever we, want, we went. The whole point of the movie is that wherever you find fun skateboarding, you have found shin. 
um, it's all in the search. Skateboarding was the perfect avenue to express my creativity. There are no rules and you're able to try different things. This page, Kayla and Caleb with Dad at the San Jose Skate Park. Collector's Closet. Frenchman Dimitri Cost may well be the world's number one band's collector. The distance between the French countryside and Southern California has done little to dampen Cost's 25-year obsession with the brand, Costa Cracks opened the cases to share some of his extensive collection highlights. Text and photos by Dimitri Costa. Old schools. Mm, skate hoes, truck hoes, half crabs. Mm, these are recent releases. These. I fall into that category. And the shoeboxes. Thank you from DCP. My first and greatest thanks are to my wife, Haley, and Hallie, who puts up with me when she probably shouldn't have. I simply could not have done this book without the dedication and talent of creative director Jeremy Taylor and photo editor Lindsay Burns, to whom I am extremely grateful, and to Steve Tiger at Abrams, who made this project a reality by agreeing to publish our book. Finally, special thanks to Steve Van Doren, who has given me a tremendous gift in sharing Vans's and his own personal history over countless hours. Vans represent Thank you. Maria Boschetti, who wrangled countless publicists with her charm. Dana Goodice and his development team, who made the cover concept a reality. Rafferty Jackson, Craig Goslin, and Kelly Bowman, who kept us on the up and up. Special thanks to all the photographers who dug deep into their archives and found the gems for us. Steve Zaitzoff, thanks for all the help with the surf stories. Aldo Gonzalez, who would drop everything to help out, thanks very much. Susan Counter, thanks for helping with clearances. Joe Huai, I think, H-U-I. And the Icon crew, thanks for all the rush scans. Jeff McCarthy, who is an InDesign master, thanks for everything. A-N-E and Jens, who always had her camera at the ready to shoot just about anything. Special thanks to Paul Van Doren and his family for giving us so much to work with. Tony Alva, thanks for all the time and sincerity in China and California. Chris Overhauser, Overholzer, who made Artists' Canvas happen almost single-handedly. Joel Tudor, who started his home, who shared his home, let us pilfer family photos and otherwise invade his privacy. Scott Sissimus who pitched in whenever asked, Christy Van Doren, who allowed us to access her hallowed photo albums, Jeff Routley, for once again doing it his own way and making it better as a result, Peter Derricks, 
for helping to bring this one home in the 11th hour. Thanks to writer Shelby Stanger, who was committed to this project before we had a publisher, and for her prose on the Warp Tour. Kevin Lyman for creating a musical juggernaut we couldn't live without. Kurt Soto, who is on tour all summer, every year, and takes it in stride like a pro, and, and is the man. To every band who has ever played a date on the Warp Tour, rock on. Chris Miller, who I still say should probably be competing as a pro, not a master. The Hoffman family for creating Pipeline, the Comey, and so much more. Thanks to Sir Squalis for always speaking her mind. Sean Palmer for showing the world what it means to be an action sports athlete. Jamie Lynn for all the years of creative expression. Randy Rarick, thanks for everything. Working together was an honor and privilege. Amy Heckerling, first for directing the movie, but then for talking to us about it. Universal Pictures for the photo work, but also for producing the movie Fast Times. Everett Rosecrans for emerging at just the right mo moment to represent our history. Jerry Baders for always representing our BMX crew. Tom and Nancy Godowskis and Alex Florence who shared their family stories and allowed their boys to be part of our of vans. We are so fortunate to have them all. Special thanks to the Fletcher Smiths, Waistels, and the families that have made vans what it is today. Thanks to Cab and Rachel for opening their home uh, and live styles. And a special thanks to Stacy Peralta for giving Cab his first pair of vans. Dimitri Cost for sharing his passion for vans with the world. REP for chasing down some of the rare Vans products, and to everyone at Vans who did the smallest thing to help bring this project to life. Art and photo credits, Vans, and the publishers would like to thank the following for granting permission for using their photos and artwork. A lot of people. Um, Carrie Anna Abrams Incorporated, a subsidiary of Barra Mark Martineri, Martineri Group, 115 West 18th Street, New York, New York, 10011, www.hnabooks.com. Editor, Rebecca Eisenberg, edit, interior designer, Jeremy Taylor. Case designer, Michelle Shea Cohen, C-O-H-E-N. Production manager, Jules Thompson. Library of Congress, cataloging and publication data. Palladini Doug, Vans Off the Wall Stories of Soul from Vans Originals by Doug Palladini, forward by Steve Van Doren, PCM, ISBN 978-0-8109-8375-5, 1. Sneakers, Collectors and Collecting, 2. Sneakers, Pictorial Works, and 3. Vans, in brackets, Firm, 1. Title. Uh, GV749 period S64P35 2009 685 uh, hyphen period 31-DC22 dash dash text copyright uh, 2009 Doug Palladini illustrations of photographs copyright 2009 Vans published in 2009 by Abrams and imprint of Harry N. Abrams Incorporated all rights reserved no portion of this book may be reproduced stored in a retrieval system or transmitted in any form or by any means mechanical, electronic, photocopying, recording, or otherwise without written permission from the publisher. Printed and bound in China, 10987576543212008049774. Stored in a retrieval system, no portion. Do not put this in a retrieval system. Five pounds. Talking story of Steve Van Doren, son and fo of founder Paul Van Doren, and employee since birth. On what makes fans. The Waffle Soul. My dad left the Randolph Rubber Company 
where he had worked for 20 years as a shoe manufacturer and moved us to California in 1964, he knew that he wanted to be his own shoe manufacturer. There have only been three companies in the world since 1900 to go into vulcanized manufacturing, U.S. Keds, Converse, and Vans. My Uncle Jim, who was an engineer, joined my dad to help bring Vans to life. He was bringing equipment from the first factory and on rail, in trucks, and on boats, because the machinery was so heavy. Jim, who was living in Costa Mesa, had a lathe because he was an engineer and expert machinist. He lathed the outsole molds, um, men's boot boys, youth, all by himself. Grinding them out, he did all of this at night after working through the day to put machinery together for the Vans factory. He and my dad started with simple deck shoes. Uh, they knew how to make them because that's what people were wearing for casual footwear at the time. The black and white checkerboard. We first used the black and white checkerboard pattern on friction tape. The rubber around the bottom of the shoe we used to run a contest. In our stores, we had about 50 at the time, where we had strips of paper cut out to the same size as the actual piece of friction tape rubber. Kids could come into the stores and draw their own designs on them. Once a month, all the stores would send in the paper slips, and I'd lay them all out, on, out to look for ideas. Every month, I would pick one design. The winners would get a factory tour, a free day at Disneyland with their families, and free shoes. I remember unicorns being big skulls, color combinations, phrases like I love girls and I love boys. The checkerboard fabric was inspired by those drawing contests in the 70s. We didn't have a lot of prints. We had two tones which every which way from 76 to 80, then in 81, our print phase was ushered in by the, che by the checkerboard. Our PR manager at the time was Betty Mitchell. Betty could talk to Betty could talk a guy in a gas station. Oh. Betty could talk to a guy in a gas station just as she might speak to the King of England. She had a special way about her. At that point, we were involved in projects with Disney all the time, so she was talking with the studios in Hollywood a lot. We got the opportunity to send some checkerboard shoes for a movie that was being made. And when I finally saw how they were going to be used in the Fast Times at Ridgemont High Billboard with Sean Penn wearing the shoes and the soundtrack album with the checkerboard all over it, I was on it. So I asked my dad for 1,000 pairs of checkerboard shoes. I can't remember what he made, made me do for them, but there was no way he was going to give me 1,000 pairs of shoes without me paying for them somehow. But he said okay, and Betty got in touch with all the radio stations that we're going to play the song Somebody's Baby by Jackson Brown from the movie and sent them checkerboard slip-ons to give away. That was really the first time that Vans got noticed all over the country. We were probably a $20 million, $20 million company before the Fast Times before Fast Times was released, but after it came out, we quickly grew to a $45 million one. I think it tied into Spicoli himself being such an off-the-wall guy it's just an iconic look that says Vans.
portrait of the artist as a young man. Which Palomano For more than 40 years, Vans has helped turn pop culture inside out as the ultimate symbol, California cool. Now, Vans, off the wall, tells the story of community of artists, musicians, trendsetters, and action sports legends that inspired it all, as well as the iconic shoes keeping it all together. This personal insider account features stunning photography and oral histories from Vans originals, untold stories from board sports legends, Tony Alva, Jeff Rowley, Joel Tudor, John Cardio, and Steve Cabarello, Caber oh my God, Caballero, photographs from Craig Steck, Bryce Knights, uh, Grant Britton, Trevor Graves, and more punk rock tales from the Vans Warp Tour, artistic and musical inspiration with Neckface, Robert Williams, Niagara, Iron Maiden, and Bad Religion, the legacy of 80s BMX, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, Spicoli Legend, the birth of the waffle soul and inside the biggest fan shoe collection ever assembled. And yes, it feels like the shoe rubber. Uh, Abrams, New York. Text by Doug Palladini, designed by Jeremy Taylor, photographs edited by Lindsay Byrnes. Stories of this of soul from Vans Originals. And his personal license plate on his Porsche. And that's with his daughter Christy when she was one. And it says making it happen. Whatever the fuck that means. Um this is a guy in a cast. It's a cast. Pretty still. Wonder where those Toeless shoes came from. Definitely not hard to wear now, right? Up in the elbow. Joel Tudor's interesting. I always found independent such an odd logo. He was 12 when I picked up, 91 when I was born. Joel's parents, Joel's first right over in Mexico, Joel and Nikki Dora in France. Village 12. And his parents were there the whole time. So it's hot. Fuck, where's Joel and son Tosh, 2007. 
Long talk, cut back, big drop of water. Makes me really happy. Happy. Good. To another mission to benefit local charities. Um, see how they did the fonts? So crazy. It's from the 90s, guys. Smoke queen, baby. Tell me I'm a fast. 